Okay, in this next video, we're going to cover HDR blending. So a HDR blending is what we call high dynamic range blending. So we have five images here, all of which are taken at different exposures. And what we're going to do is blend these five images together in order to create one really nice exposure. So with some cameras, it's it's not so bad but with other cameras it's really difficult trying to capture all the detail in the highlights um, you can see it's really bright in this section losing detail but you've got plenty of detail in the shadows but when you go all the way through where you've got the detail in the highlights but you're losing all the detail in the shadows so what we're going to do is blend these five images together in order to create one single image that has enough detail all the way through in the highlights and in the shadows. What we're trying to create is what looks like a really base raw file. Nothing too, um, I suppose, uh, it, it's not supposed to look like it's been processed yet when we use the software to do this. We're just trying to pull out a really good quality file in order to give us a, a starting point once we go into Photoshop and start processing. So let's get started. We'll select all of these. So let's open up into Photoshop CC. Now we're not really going to do anything in here other than select all, sync settings which we're not really going to change any settings to be honest we're going to do all of that in Photoshop so just open up files okay so we've opened up our five images now we're going to blend these together and similar to when you're blending images to create a panoramic stitch we're going to go into file and down to automate but this time instead of going down to photo merge we're going to merge to HDR Now we have another dialog box opens up, same again, we add open files and hit OK. We've opened it up into uh, merged HDO Pro. Now you can see down here we have our five images and this is what it's creating. Okay, So on the right hand side we have a bunch of settings and we can adjust those and see if we can get a better result. Now just take into consideration where your starting point is, okay, in case you're not happy with what you do. But you do need to move. I think it's looking really good in the highlights. We have a slight bit of, looks like a bit of a glow around the uh, edge of the rock here. And just in here looks really flat and soft, which is okay. But we'll just have a little play around and see if we can get that a little bit better. So pull your slider all the way across and see what you're getting. So let's terrible and if we go all the way across the other way that's just as bad so what we're looking for is a happy medium so we're down at one I would think we want a little bit more than one and then let's have a look at the exposure same thing let's have a look at it both directions see where it's at And I think that's a little bit better. Again, detail. Push it over, see what you're getting. Back down around maybe 40. So we're just really messing around with these settings. To see what we're getting. So, as far as I'm concerned, this is a pretty good result. We've recovered all the shadows in here. 
we've got a nice blue sky with really what looks like pretty good on the edges there's no real uh, highlights on the edge there we've got nice detail and I think we can take this image now into Photoshop and treat it as we're bringing a raw file in after coming straight from camera raw and start doing our processing from there and there we have it our five photos merge to give us a fairly even exposure right through the image we have plenty of detail in our shadows plenty of detail in our highlights and it's a perfect starting point